What's up guys? So we're gonna film something a little different today. I'm actually here with my buddy. We're gonna go do a little bit of a vlog, something different, something you guys never seen before. As you can see, the highway's right there. But um, yeah, so we're gonna take my car. We gotta go bring it to a shop to get looked at, to get fixed. Gotta get a quote on that. We might take my buddy's car to go to another shop to get some performance mods done. We're gonna see what he wants to do. I actually went yesterday and we actually did something to my car. Every single one of you guys have been wanting me to do this. So we're gonna check that out in a little bit. But come with me and still see where we're gonna go. But like as I said, there's the highway. We're gonna transition to my car in three, two. Hey guys, so now we're going to the auto body shop. They're gonna take a quick look at the damages that are done to the car. As you guys, if you watched one of my prior videos when I first started filming on YouTube, um, I basically someone did a hit and run on my car traffic light camera ahead. with 400 miles on it and also I didn't talk about this because I don't really like to talk about too much negativity but I should have made a video about it to bring it to, to the light but it's fine um, I went to get my tire change and somebody took my door and they smashed it into the two post lift and scratched the whole door so I'm gonna see how much that's gonna cost to get repainted and then once we do that um, what else are we Continue gonna go to? Oh, for I got seven miles. I gotta show you guys. Um, speed camera ahead. Red light camera ahead. This, this is you the are exceeding the speed. I'm going the speed limit. In point six going, miles, turn left onto Tarby Street. All right, guys. So this is the reality of everything, bro. So basically, right now we're going to the auto body shop. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna get out. I'm gonna show you the damages. Just so you guys are familiar with what we're going for. We're gonna get a quote on that. Then also, I actually went yesterday with my buddy Frank. We went to go get a mod done on the car. Um, you guys been wanting this. This has been like the number one mod that you guys been telling me, Andrew, get this, get this, get this. All right, so we finally got it. All right, so we're here right now at Never Ride Stock, and I'm gonna show you what they can do. All right guys, so we just got here at the auto body shop. Um, they just took some pictures of it. So here is the damage, as you guys can see here, here, and here. And then on the door right here, I was talking to you guys about that you guys haven't seen yet, unless you've been checking out my shorts, but I don't know if it, if it comes up on camera, but right here is where they scratched the door. So they're gonna give me a quote on that. And also right here, we got our quote. Before we get into the quote, now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but look, we tinted the windows, finally. No longer I'll be getting harassed in the comments, so I come over here and show them. So, the car is fully tinted, um, full ceramic, all the way around. We did we did a sun strip in the front, tinted the back, and then we also have the back here. Let me open it up for you guys so you can see inside. But that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so... As you guys see, we have our itemized bill. I haven't looked at it yet. I don't even know how much it is, but they are gonna fix this panel here, this pa this panel, this part of the bumper, and they told me they'll touch up the door for me. They'll throw it in. So, now let's read it through right here. So, right here, I don't know if you wanna come up here so they can see it. So, right here is what they quoted me for. Um, so, with everything, it would be $517. So, I don't know how they, yeah, it doesn't, let's see. Uh, 500, they can't even give me a bill of $517. Depending if what I want to do, it obviously will change. But I told them they agreed that I can take apart the whole bumper and just hand them the pieces instead of them having to take the bumper off, putting it back on. I just figured it's a lot easier that way if I just hand them the pieces that need to be changed and they'll spray paint it. They said it takes about a day, so there'll be no downtime on the car, thankfully. So, yeah, but um, finally, guys, we finally got the tint. I don't know if I'm happy because it looks good or I'm just happy I'm not going to get harassed in the comments. No, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so drop a comment. What do you think? And do you think I got a good price? Should I go somewhere else and see what they say? All right, but, yeah, so I want to give a special shout-out to the guy that decided to do a hit and run on my car at 400 miles. And I also want to give a shout-out to the guy working at... I'm not going to say where it is, but the guy that decided to take my door and slam it into the two post lip and tell me that they have no proof that they damaged the car. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to come out of my pocket as always. Um, but yeah, so looking good though. Uh, wow, look at this beauty. That's how you know it's a Honda driver, guys. You see these paddles on there? He's got a little <laughs> thing. 
Hey, so now we're in my friend's uh, 2020 Honda Civic Sport, and um, oh, don't let me let me forget Coop. If God forbid, I forget Coop. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go grab something to eat. When we get there, um, I'll show you guys. Oh no, we got maniac. Zero to sixty in thirty seconds. But. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, guys, we'll cut. To oh my God, where are you taking us? This guy's gotta fill up gas real quick. So he's gonna fill up real quick. Let's see what he puts in his Civic. He, he told me something. He told me he does a little something special to his Civic. I don't know, I won't, well, I'll show you guys. Let's do it. Show him what gas you're getting, come on, show him. I don't know if, you know, I, I thought there's no point to put it in, but he always fills up premium. Drop a comment down below. Do you think that this car needs premium? Me personally, I don't think this car needs premium. By the way, that guy over there, he brought, buddy literally just walked up to us, came up, st stood next to us, laughed and walked away. I don't know if he's on drugs, but welcome to New York City, guys. No, this is what happens when you want to fill up a premium all the time, Frank. $30 for six gallons. I'd say for... But yeah guys so come along with me um i gotta go grab something real quick gotta go to cbs um yeah it's a couple minute drive you know we'll end off the video you guys can see the both angles will look pretty sick but yeah let's go I want to know I'm kind of curious have you guys ever got tints on your car and actually it's not that bad so I got like ceramic all the way around full ceramic so except the windshield but like you can't even see the difference I mean obviously you can a little bit but Speed it definitely it definitely uh, helps a lot with the sunlight and the heat I didn't do the windshield so like I said so it doesn't help you but, are exceeding the speed Just another reason to get out of New York City. Yeah, so actually, my buddy was going to come with us. He was going to bring his car. We were going to go actually to a shop because he was looking to get a tune. I think he was looking to get an N75 tune on his car. But I don't know what he was doing, to be honest. He, I don't even think he knows what he's doing. So, speed um, camera 100 feet speed camera ahead, 25 miles per so, hour um, speed limit. It's not going to make it into this video. Maybe we'll make a separate video on it. Maybe we'll tune it for him or he'll tune it. We'll see what's going to happen. But yeah, so if you guys are wondering, I don't know if I mentioned it early in the video or not, but we are not doing that today, unfortunately. Um, but we still have, we have to go back to his car and actually fix something. When we put the exhaust on, it's, it's leaking and everything. So we got the new gasket. Throw in there. Speed camera ahead. 25 miles per hour speed limit. Okay, good. I'm going 18. But yeah, so so um, we're gonna do that probably next week. Um, also, I'm taking a little bit of a, not a break. I'm going down. I'm taking a couple days off. That's why I'm filming this. So when I come back, then we'll, we're gonna be filming another video where we. Um, Uh, we're gonna be doing some mods. I know I've been talking about I'm making some custom stuff, so we're gonna be finalized. Not finalized. We're gonna. I have some prototypes, but we're gonna really try to t like tune everything up and everything. See how it looks. See how it fits. See how we can mount it up. But yeah, so. There. 
guys sit on the I'm trying to the camera. Yeah, it's not working. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow, right, right, not the next day. This, this is literally killing me that I have to keep the windows up. As you can tell, I taped up all the windows. This one too, they put tape on it, but I put extra. I literally drive like 24 seven with every single window down. It's just so much, so nice. <laughs> needs to be humble. Yeah, look like at going off into the distance. K-Band. So yes, here. But, I had to humble him once again. <laughs> he's turning, he's turning. He's turning. But, it's always the Civic drivers, guys. You gotta watch out for them. Oh my god. I didn't... <laughs> I, I couldn't hold the camera record, but I'll throw up the Insta 360 footage. You guys just see it. Bro. That's the proper way to make a U-turn, guys. The proper way. Let me park up real quick. We finally made it to CVS. Um, if you're wondering what I'm here for, I'm here for deodorant because I didn't, I don't have any. So, as you do. You know, I got, I got, a, I got a, every car part under the sun, but not a stick of deodorant. So. Not yet. Oh. Let's take this Insta360 off because we live in New York City and we don't want everyone to steal everything. But oh. that's what you guys look like over there. There's no way. There is no way. It's literally locked up. All right, so we secured the deodorant, but I don't know if I should be more surprised that it was like seven, eight dollars, or that they had to lock it up. Have you ever seen that they had a lock deodorant up at CVS? But welcome to the great city, guys. I um, hope you're enjoying the vlog, but now that we got the deodorant, let's take a nice leisurely ride home. I really wish I could put the windows down, but we can't. So let's go onward. My radars are going, it's going off already. It's become ridiculous at this point, like, like I'm all for, like, I don't care about the cops, like, obviously, whatever, that's fine. You're not, if you're not doing anything illegal, there's no reason. But, the speed cameras, come on. It's just annoying, and the red light cameras. The thing is, like, obviously, you shouldn't run a red light, you shouldn't speed, which is obvious. $50 for a red light or a speeding ticket, I think. And then, oh, and it's also exhaust cameras, so, if you get a ticket with your exhaust the first time, it's eight hundred dollars if it's over the decibel limit. Which, funny fact, this car is actually over the decibel limit stock in end mode. So, because I guess end mode is only for track use, it is or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, eight hundred dollars and thirteen hundred dollars and like twenty two hundred dollars. There's a couple where I live on Staten Island, but I think there's a bunch in Manhattan. That now that's now that's ridiculous. I understand like okay, you don't want people, you know having insanely loud cars i guess but like at the end of the day if i want to do that i want to do that not even that how about we worry about people you know being under the influence while driving whether that be like marijuana or weed whatever you want to call it in point three like, miles traffic light camera ahead and then speed camera ahead 30 miles per hour speed limit but yeah, how about we worry about that? Like, I can literally smell it. It's red light camera ahead. It's 7:52 in the morning, and people are already smoking. Like I said, how about we worry about that rather than, you know, someone's a car being loud? But you know, everyone. I guess the city has its priorities. Ooh, new Mustang. Is that a dark horse? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Saw him check out my car, but I can't tell if that's a dark horse. And I don't know if the dark horse comes in a convertible. But yeah, so. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm debating before we go home, do I swing by? Because I know it's like an exotic car spot. Um, I think they had the, um, the Brabham's, like, uh, 
six by six or score whatever it was outside the other day but um yeah they always have crazy cars that's why i buy my house like you always, i always see like r8s or like gt3s or g3 rs's or like huracans just fly past because they're on the way to that spot but that's how i figured out about that spot so um yeah so um i'm just gonna film this on the way home you know the interesting parts maybe we see some cool cars because you always see a lot of nice cars here i guess today i still had like two rolls royces Bentley Continental GT. Yeah, is that a, I can't see if you guys can see. The mic's in the way. But, I can't tell, is that a... Speed camera ahead. In point two miles, speed camera ahead. 30 miles per hour speed limit. You are exceeding the speed. 35, 30. No, I gotta do it. Bro, enough with the speed cameras, but yeah, so I'm gonna drive, I think real quick, we're gonna drive past this one spot that I know there's like a lot of exotic cars at, just maybe we can see some if you guys, for the video, but um, yeah, like for example, yes, I saw, I think it was a 720S McLaren, like, this is stuff I see on the day to day, where I don't even get excited for it anymore, like, so I was thinking, like, you know, it'd be cool, if everyone, if enough people want it, I low-key could, could like, do like a live stream somehow, well, I know how to do one, but like, I could like do a live stream if people actually wanted me to do that and we could go around for a little bit and like show you guys. Cause like I feel like that was a cop right next to me. Oh, he's turning away. I'm scathed once again. Um, um, but yeah, so, oh, by the way guys, did you see Squeeze Ben's got arrested? They got him, NYPD got him, he's locked up, he's done. But um, yeah, no, like, if that would be pretty cool, something to do if, um, if enough people want it, like, because I feel like, like I was gonna, like I was saying, until I saw the cop, and I feel like, you know, people aren't used to New York City, like, our roads and everything are so much different than, like, anything anyone's used to, like, I'm just getting cut off for no reason, and I'll do the same thing back to them, but, um, yeah, so, drop a comment down below, because I want to know that, but I also saw a 430, um, 434, I was at a challenge or a scud, and then I also saw a um, R35 GTR. Let's see, is there anything down there? No, nothing. Dang, it's too early in the day, it's only 8 a.m. I think they open up at 9. Yeah, there's nothing there, but I guess you know what? That's going to close out today's. I'm telling you guys, they're going to the place I was just telling you about. Literally, this is up. Uh, yeah, but literally, I thought it was another cop. This is literally, that's why I tell you guys, New York City is so crazy. Oh my God, Blue Sea Vis event. I put down the camera and then the Blue Sea Vis event, the door pulls right up. But that's what I'm saying, guys. If you want to see this type of content, I will go live or we can just go out one day and try to scout all these cars. But um, yeah video i appreciate you guys for watching uh make sure to like and subscribe we're so close to a thousand subscribers but other than that it's been andrew and i gotta go